Street Food. What's up, Street Foodies? The final episode, that's what's up. Welcome to the finale of season two. We're going out on a high note as we visit one of China's five famous mountains, Huashan. Did you see what I did there? Going out on a high note. As a culmination to our two years of living and working together, we decided to climb Huashan as a group. So, Trisha, Ed, Josh and myself, as well as two of our Chinese friends, Francis and Melinda, set off to the city of Weinan together. It's about an hour and a half northeast of Xi'an. We took a taxi to the North Railway Station in order to take a high-speed train to Weinan, but we had a little trouble with the automatic ticket machines. We don't have Chinese IDs. But we figured it out. After the train ride, we had to negotiate with a few taxi drivers to take us to the base of the mountain. At the entrance to Huashan, there's a statue of a famous practitioner of Taoism laying prostrate at the foot of the mountain. And after a few hours into the hike, you realize why a guy famous for taking a nap is like their hero. We found some very surprised looking tourists, as well as this dragon deer. And we started up the mountain. There was some epic Chinglish safety propaganda, and some hilariously named locations. I particularly appreciated Hairy Woman's Cave. That's what it's called. You find ribbons and padlocks tied all over the railings of Huashan. It's supposed to be good luck to attach these padlocks at high places. It got a bit ridiculous. This gate said it was supposed to lead to heaven, but it just led to some unkempt shrubbery and litter. Actually, there's a fair amount of spiritual significance to Huashan. Several famous Taoist monks had special private caves that they would go to on the mountain, and it was originally believed to be the home of this Taoist deity that's basically the equivalent of the god of the underworld. Kind of creepy. We climbed the famous 1000 stairs, followed closely by the famous 100 stairs. Mountain climbing in Xi'an almost always means stairs. It's common for locals to climb the mountain at night and then watch the sunrise in the morning. But we climbed in the evening so that we could enjoy the scenery, which gave us most of the path to ourselves. Huashan has five peaks, we only climbed three of them. The first one you get to is called the North Peak, and from there you can reach all the other peaks. We stopped at North Peak for a snack, some cold noodles, as well as some ta ye dan. Tea eggs. These are hard-boiled eggs that are cracked and made to simmer in a mixture of tea, soy sauce, chili pepper, and maybe some other things. It's an awesome idea, but frankly the tea eggs on North Peak tasted like they had not been simmered in anything. Extremely plain. Most of the food on the mountain is lacking, and it gets more expensive the higher you go. A 5 kwai can of Red Bull cost me 20 kwai when I was near the summit, but I went for it because I needed wings to climb through the night. That's how you do that. So behind me, you can't see it. There's a cliff. Josh, from this angle, your leg hair is dominating. There comes a point in every voyage when the crew begins to consider a mutiny. The side is low and the bottom is bottomless. Well, this is like National Geographic footage I've got here. Mosquito look, I can see his eyes. Oh my gosh, this is what they're gonna look like when they take over. Oh, it's very scary for me. <laughs> We stayed in a hostel at the summit of the East Peak and we slept a few hours before sunrise. My friend Faithia climbed all five peaks and all she brought was a piece of newspaper to sleep on. It's hardcore. The sunrise in the morning was epic. Video does not do it justice. I paid 20 kwai for a packet of instant coffee. In the morning, the mountain felt a lot more Chinese, by which I mean crowded. We hiked single file back down to North Peak, and then we took a cable car the rest of the way down. I had another tea egg at the foot of the mountain just to test it, and it tasted a little better, but it was still very mild. Cha ye dan. It's kind of a lame snack. But we climbed a mountain, so... We made it! That's the end of Street Food Season 2. I hope you enjoyed watching. Special thanks to all my street foodies who watch me every week, and many thanks to my occasional watchers as well. Street Food will return for a third season, eventually, but right now I need to focus on my day job. Also, I've been putting on a little bit of street food weight and work on that. If you've eaten tea eggs before, post your thoughts. If you've climbed Hua Shan before, let me know how it went. I'd also love to hear about what you liked this season, what you didn't like, what kind of snacks you'd like to see next season. We will go more places, eat more snacks, and avoid the parasites along the way. For now, I'll leave you with some poorly punctuated Hua Shan cautionary propaganda. Take care of your safety, crossing prohibit. See you next season.